Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Bloopers. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at Fall Guys. If you prob if you're probably watching this video, you probably know what Fall Guys is, right? So for all you people that don't know, Fall Guys is basically Mario Party and Fortnite had a child. Um, don't. Anyways, uh, they had a child, and this is what came out. And it's just it's amazing it's super fun it's fantastic so i decided to make this video for you guys that um describes one tip or trick on each one of the mini games inside of the game if you guys learn something new please leave a like i am constantly streaming at twitch.tv forward slash bloopers come check me out leave a follow we're trying to hit 500 followers by the end of the month i don't know if we can do it prove me wrong um with that being said though enjoy the video For number one on our list, we're going to be talking about Perfect Apple Match. Banana. Perfect Match is the one where you have the fruit, banana. and it shows Jerry. you the screen, and you have to match the Apple screen banana. with the fruit on the ground or else you fall. Um, tips and tricks for this one, you literally do not have to play it. You do not have to play this level. All you have to do is follow the other people to where they are standing, and I swear every single time they'll lead you to the right spot without fail. This is a foolproof plan. Next is Team Tail Tag. Team Tail Tag is, uh, I don't like the team games in this game, but they're, they're fine, they're fine. For Team Tail Tag though, you wanna be able to grab your teammate's tail. Who cares about them? You need to make sure that you have a tail and they don't. If they have a tail, grab it from them. Grab their tail, they'll find another one. You just keep yours. Next up is Regular Tail Tag. Um, with lag, it could be pretty difficult to keep your tail for the entire duration of the game. So the best thing to do is to wait until about there is 45 seconds left, and then you could start hunting for the tails. After that, just try to find a good place to hide. Um, I recommend using the uh, under part uh, around the underneath the big hammer. That's a great spot for you to hide and run around in circles while you wait for the timer to run out. Next is roll out. This one's pretty self-explanatory, uh, but I would recommend that you stay away from your enemies as they have a really high chance of knocking you off into one of the holes that are inside the cylinder that can lead you to falling off into the goo. Block party. There's a special skip that you can do if you jump over along the right side of the wall, which makes you immune to all the other walls. You literally just jump up and you're above everyone else and you don't have to do anything and it's easy. I don't know how long it's going to take before they really patch it, but be able to take advantage of it while you can. Rock and roll. This one is one of my least favorite ones. I do not know why I see so many people rolling the ball all at once. You really only need about two to three people, three people max, pushing the ball. The rest of your teammates should be off. You guys should be running towards the end and try to cut off all the, the red ball and the blue ball or whatever it is that team you're on. The other two teams' balls. But you have to make sure your gets in first, but make sure that they stay off and delay theirs as much as possible. What 
for DoorDash, don't be afraid to just start jumping into doors, but be careful as to not um, put too much weight onto the left side or to the right side. Always try to stay in the middle so you have area to move around in. Boom. Royal Fumble is the most aggravating final game of all time, but there's a good way to just do it. Uh, it's basically the same thing as tail tag. Don't play the game until there's about 50 seconds left. Then you can organize where you're going, how you're going to attack, what you're going to do. And um, hiding afterwards really isn't a tactic here. They can see your name through walls with your name tag, which is something that, you know, could be fixed. But uh, yeah, just basically just wait it out. You don't have to be chasing them the entire time. They're just going to juke you out. And there's no need for you to grab the tail because you wouldn't be able to keep it. Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. <gasps> oh, my baby, dude. Let's go. We got it right at the end. <laughs> Tiptoe, not a lot of people know this, but you can actually make a jump to uh, to qualify when there's a one space gap in between the, uh, the finish line and you. Uh, it doesn't look like you're going to make it. It looks like your character falls to their death, but really you qualify, and it's like... The most satisfying thing ever when you hit a jump, dude. I'm telling you. Oh, oh, oh. We qualify. Uh, let's go. For fruit shoot, the best thing to do here is to stand on the right side of the map and run up. I see uh, way too many people running down mid for no reason at all. It does not make sense. There's a big log. It's going to come sweep your feet. You're going to fall. You're going to die. And then you're not going to qualify. Stay on the right hand side. I prefer right. You could probably go to the left too, but righty all the way. And just keep running down. And the, I swear the fruits will go around you. The fruits will see you. It'll go around you. It does not matter. Just stay on the right side. Everything's just avoiding me. See, I uh, did not get hit by that. That was lag. The jump club. A good strategy to use at the beginning of the game is to jump over the green log um, at the beginning and then follow it. Just stick to it until it's connected to one of the pink logs. And then you have to run to keep running, jump over it, follow it again. Just keep following the log. And then another thing I would recommend is staying away from teammates because if, the, if they get swept, they can hit you too. And then you'll go flying instead of them. Hoarders. Um, this is the worst game. This is definitely the worst game. The best strategy to do is to target the team that has the least amount of balls in their court perfection, and perfection. defend from their side, you know? Like, for example, if, if yellow has the least amount of balls, oh, bro, you want to stand in yellow spawn and make sure no balls are getting in there at all. You need to just keep deflecting, keep deflecting, keep deflecting, and that then you'll tough. win easy because it doesn't that matter if that you really have is. one ball and wow. red has six. It doesn't matter as long as yellow has zero. You still qualify. Seesaw. Um, I, wait. Just wait, dude. No need for every single person to jump onto one of the seesaws at once. I normally wait back, wait for them to fall, and then after the seesaw resets, you jump on it by yourself or with one or two other people that are smart, and then you guys run to the next one, and you're able to finish the level pretty fast. This does have like a 100% chance of working for you because people always get stuck because they just keep running and running and running, and they don't know how to stop and think for a second. <laughs> Dizzy Heights, um, another self-explanatory one. Just run with the circle and just keep finding different paths so you can take them go into a straight line. It's basically just platforming. It's basic. If you fall, don't get discouraged. You could always, you're, you're pretty much ahead of the fray. It doesn't really matter. You'll still make it, but there's no real, really good tip here. Just get good. Hoopsie Daisy, another one of my least favorite ones, pretty much RNG. Not much you can really do here. Um, just stay above high ground, just stay high ground. 
look around for the hoops and if they spawn near you go for it if they don't don't it's pretty much a luck based game based on where the hoops are spawning it's nothing you can do if you lose it's not your fault basically Gate crash. If you miss a gate and it goes up in your face, do not switch gates. Stay at the gate that just hit you in the face. It's going to go back down immediately. I see a lot of people transitioning from gate to gate and then they get stuck in like an endless loop of getting hit in the face. Um, also, don't be afraid to jump over. Another tip I could recommend is at the end, when you're sliding down the goo puddle, go for the gate that is already closed. Why would you go for the gate that's closed? Because it's going to open by the time that you get down there. So just make sure that you uh, organize yourself and time it correctly and you should be fine. Fall Mountain, same recommendation as Fruit Shoot. Uh, stay to the right hand side. It's really easy. Do not run down the middle because the balls will hit you. And just be aware if you stick to the far right, the, sw the spinning things will not hit you. The only thing that you're really at risk is the balls unfortunately hitting you. It's pretty RNG as well and avoiding the hammers at the end. Let's go, baby. Let's go. First, uh, oh my god, dude. Let's go. First game of the day. We get a dub. Fall ball. After your first goal, one ball will spawn in the middle. It's going to fall. You're going to see its shadow. Make sure that you are under the ball and that you jump at the perfect time. If you jump at the perfect time, it sends it. Absolutely sends it to the other team's goal. And you could snowball extremely easily, like in this clip. Um... It's pretty easy once you get one or two. The other team gets discouraged. Some of them leave. It's just so simple. For egg scramble, same recommendation as hoarders, just make sure that the team with the least amount of eggs stays that team with the least amount of eggs. Work with the other team in order to succeed this goal. Make sure that if you're on yellow team and uh, blue team has the least amount, work with red team to get all of yellow's eggs out of their basket. Just throw them out. You don't have to put them in yours. Just make sure that they don't have any. And then you both qualify. It's that easy. Get it out of here. Mm, baby, let's go. We win those. We win those. Snaps all around. Snaps all around. Hip Parade. Um, when we're going through the first part of Hip Parade, and nobody really knows about the opening on the left-hand side, everyone really goes through the middle two doors that open, but on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, there's a gap that opens up too, so you don't have to all cram in through the one in the middle. It's pretty important that you guys know that because I see a lot of people getting stuck and having to wait there and they could lose qualifying. But with more avenues, you have a higher chance of success. Ah, you got three at first right there, man. Dang, I thought I was trying to get first right there. For the Whirly Gig, there's a special trick that you can do to get into the middle part every single time. I mean it, every single time. All you have to do is ride along the left side of the ramp that goes up to the middle blade that spins and right when you reach the peak of the ramp, dive and blades will hit you, but it's not going to send you flying. It's just going to hit you and send you downwards into the area that you need to get to, which is a really big skip in order for people to uh, get done faster. I do it in this clip here. It's super easy and has like 100% success rate. I have not failed that one once doing that tactic. For the slime climb, the best trick is definitely the Dorito jump, as that's what it's referred to in like the Fall Guys community. If you see a lot of people going for it, I recommend just moving off to the side a little bit, to the left of it, and you can make that jump pretty easily as well. It's an equally as fast skip, and sometimes, you know, you get less traffic. Um, but whatever you do, try not to go all the way around. It wastes time, and you end up in last anyways. Just be sure that you know how to make that jump.
And lastly, we have the hexagon. My personal favorite, like, my by far the best final in the game. Um, it requires a bunch of skill. Make sure that you know how much time that you have on the individual plates before you fall off. People always run across the plates, but you can get one to two to three steps in, like, every single one before you have to jump to the next one. It's a really good way, tactic of stalling, like pushing off the enemy and making sure that you're the last one. Just make sure that you have enough space and make sure that when you are running out of space, know where you're going to be falling. Because if you fall through all the levels, you're going to die anyways. So just make sure you know exactly where you have to land and try to guide yourself to that area. Your baby! Ain't you got a girlfriend? True. True. Um, with that being said, though, that was all 24 levels of Fall Guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you did enjoy, I do stream every day on twitch.tv forward slash bloopers. Like the video, subscribe, and share with your friends, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.